Hello and welcome to today's video where we are delving into the intricate link between insulin resistance and cancer. We're about to embark on an enlightening journey exploring the complex connections between these two health conditions that affect millions of lives around the globe. We'll be shedding light on the metabolic disorder, insulin resistance, and how it might pave the way for cancer through multifaceted pathways. This video is a must watch for those curious about the interplay between these seemingly separate conditions and eager to learn about the proactive measures that can be taken. We'll be looking at how insulin resistance affects our bodies, its global impact, and how it might lead to an increased risk of certain types of cancer. So sit tight and prepare for an informative ride. Join us on this journey as we unravel the secrets behind these complex health conditions. To begin, we must first understand what insulin resistance is and how it impacts our health. Insulin resistance in layman's terms is a metabolic disorder where the body cells don't effectively respond to insulin, a hormone that regulates the amount of glucose in our bloodstream. This lack of response leads to elevated blood glucose levels, which can trigger a domino effect of health concerns, including obesity and type 2 diabetes. But insulin resistance isn't just a personal health issue. It's a widespread problem that affects millions of people worldwide, turning it into a global health crisis. The scale of this problem is staggering and its impact on public health is significant. So what exactly happens in the body when insulin resistance occurs? Well, it's a complex process involving numerous biochemical pathways. When the pancreas releases insulin, it signals cells to take up glucose from the bloodstream. However, in insulin resistance, these signals are weakened and cells fail to take up glucose effectively. This failure results in higher levels of glucose in the blood, causing metabolic disturbances. But the effects of insulin resistance don't stop at metabolic disturbances. This condition has also been linked to increased risk of certain types of cancer, such as endometrial, breast and colon cancer. Several mechanisms may contribute to this increased risk, including hyperinsulinemia, inflammation, altered hormone levels, obesity, and altered metabolism. Hyperinsulinemia, or high levels of insulin in the blood, can encourage the growth and proliferation of cancer cells. Chronic low-grade inflammation, often associated with insulin resistance, can promote cancer development and progression. Hormonal imbalances such as increased estrogen levels can stimulate the growth of hormone-sensitive cancer cells. Obesity, a common consequence of insulin resistance, can increase inflammation, alter hormone levels, and promote insulin resistance, creating a favorable environment for cancer development. As we can see, Insulin resistance is a serious condition that significantly impacts global health. It's a multifaceted issue with far-reaching implications, including an increased risk of cancer. Understanding the link between insulin resistance and cancer can help us make better decisions to protect our health and take proactive steps to manage and reduce the risk. Now that we have a basic understanding of insulin resistance, let's delve deeper into its biochemical implications. Insulin resistance is not a singular event. It's a complex journey involving numerous biochemical pathways. Our story begins in the pancreas, where beta cells produce insulin in response to rising blood sugar levels. 
Insulin's primary role is to act as a key, unlocking the doors of cells to let glucose in. However, in insulin resistance, these cellular doors don't open as readily despite the presence of insulin. This is akin to a lock becoming rusty over time, requiring more and more effort to turn the key. The body reacts by producing even more insulin to force the doors open, leading to a state of hyperinsulinemia or high insulin levels in the blood. But why does this happen? The answer lies in the intricate dance of biochemistry. One key player is the insulin receptor, a protein on the surface of cells that binds insulin. In insulin resistance, these receptors become less responsive, hampering the insulin signaling pathway. Another important player is the GLUT4 transporter, responsible for ferrying glucose into cells. In healthy individuals, insulin signals GLUT4 to move to the cell surface and let glucose in. In those with insulin resistance, this signaling is impaired, leaving glucose stranded in the bloodstream. But the biochemical journey doesn't end here. High blood sugar and insulin levels can trigger inflammation and oxidative stress, further exacerbating insulin resistance. Moreover, fatty acids released by fat tissue can interfere with insulin signaling, creating a vicious cycle. This intricate dance of biochemistry shows us that insulin resistance is not just about insulin and glucose. It involves a complex network of signaling pathways, proteins and molecules. A malfunction in any part of this network can disrupt the delicate balance leading to insulin resistance. This complex biochemical journey reveals just how intricate insulin resistance is and its potential impacts on our health. Moving forward, we'll explore the surprising connection between insulin resistance and cancer. This may seem like an unexpected link, but let's unravel it together. Insulin resistance, a condition where our body cells don't respond as they should to insulin, has been associated with an increased risk of certain types of cancer, including endometrial, breast and colon cancer. Why is this so? Well, there are several mechanisms at play. Firstly, insulin resistance can lead to hyperinsulinemia, a condition characterized by elevated levels of insulin in the blood. High insulin levels can stimulate the growth and multiplication of cancer cells. This is done by insulin binding to its receptors and activating the insulin-like growth factor one signaling pathway, a crucial player in cell growth, proliferation, and survival. Secondly, insulin resistance is often associated with a state of chronic low-grade inflammation. This inflammation can contribute to the development and progression of cancer by promoting the formation of new blood vessels. A process known as angiogenesis, it can also facilitate the invasion of cancer cells into surrounding tissues, thereby aiding cancer growth and spread. Thirdly, insulin resistance can cause hormonal imbalances. This includes increased levels of estrogen and decreased levels of sex hormone binding globulin. High estrogen levels have been associated with um, an increased risk of developing breast and endometrial cancer as estrogen can stimulate the growth of these hormone sensitive cancer cells. Then there's obesity, which is often associated with insulin resistance. Obesity is a known risk factor for several types of cancer, including breast, endometrial, and colon cancer. It can increase inflammation, alter hormone levels, and promote the development of insulin resistance, creating a favorable environment for cancer development. 
Lastly, insulin resistance can lead to changes in cellular metabolism. These alterations can increase the risk of DNA damage and mutations, which can contribute to cancer development. With this understanding in mind, we can now dig deeper into the mechanisms behind this connection. Our first stop on this exploration is understanding how hyperinsulinemia contributes to cancer development. Insulin resistance, as we've discussed, can cause the body to produce more insulin to compensate for its lack of responsiveness. This condition of having excessive insulin levels in, in the bloodstream is known as hyperinsulinemia. Now you might be wondering, uh, why exactly is hyperinsulinemia a concern when it comes to cancer? Well, the answer lies in the fact that insulin, in addition to its role in glucose regulation, is a potent growth factor. It can stimulate cell division and discourage cell death, two processes that when uncontrolled can lead to the development and spread of cancer cells. Here's how it works. High insulin levels can bind to insulin receptors on cells, activating a signaling pathway involving a protein called insulin-like growth factor 1 or IGF-1. This pathway is critical for cell growth, proliferation and survival. In the context of cancer, this means that hyperinsulinemia can potentially fuel the growth and spread of cancerous cells. But that's not all. Uh, hyperinsulinemia can also lead to hormonal imbalances, particularly increased levels of estrogen. Estrogen, a hormone that can stimulate the growth of certain types of cancer cells, is typically bound and inactivated by a protein called sex hormone binding globulin or SHBG. However, high insulin levels can decrease SHBG, leading to more free active estrogen in the body, potentially increasing the risk for cancers like breast and endometrial cancer. It's important to note that while hyperinsulinemia can contribute to cancer development, it's just one piece of a complex puzzle. Insulin resistance is also associated with other conditions like inflammation and obesity, which can further increase cancer risk. Hyperinsulinemia is a key player in the link between insulin resistance and cancer. Understanding this connection is crucial as it opens up new avenues for prevention and treatment strategies and underscores the importance of managing insulin levels as part of a comprehensive approach to cancer prevention. Next, we'll explore three additional mechanisms that connect insulin resistance and cancer, inflammation, hormonal changes, and obesity. Let's start with inflammation. Insulin resistance is often associated with chronic low-grade inflammation. This inflammation can promote new blood vessel formation, a process known as angiogenesis, which allows cancer cells to receive the nutrients they need to grow. Inflammation can also facilitate the invasion of cancer cells into surrounding tissues, aiding cancer growth and the potential for it to spread or metastasize. Now, let's talk about hormonal changes. Insulin resistance can lead to hormonal imbalances, such as increased levels of estrogen and decreased levels of sex hormone binding globulin. These changes can be particularly problematic because high levels of estrogen can stimulate the growth of hormone sensitive cells, such as those found in breast and endometrial cancer. Lastly, we'll discuss obesity. Obesity is often a comorbidity of insulin resistance and is a known risk factor for several types of cancer, including breast, endometrial, and colon cancer. Obesity can increase inflammation and alter hormone levels, both of which we've already discussed as cancer-promoting factors. 
but it can also promote the development of insulin resistance itself, creating a kind of vicious cycle. To sum up, inflammation, hormonal changes and obesity are all mechanisms through which insulin resistance can contribute to the development and progression of cancer. Each of these factors can act independently, but they often interact and reinforce each other, creating a complex web of interactions that can increase cancer risk. These mechanisms further solidify the link between insulin resistance and cancer, highlighting the importance of this connection in our overall health. Finally, we'll delve into how altered metabolism in individuals with insulin resistance can contribute to cancer development. Metabolic changes are a hallmark of cancer and insulin resistance can accelerate these changes, creating a conducive environment for cancer cells to thrive. In cases of insulin resistance, the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, leading to an increase in glucose absorption. This abundance of glucose provides cancer cells with an energy-rich environment, helping them to proliferate and survive. In essence, the glucose acts as fuel for the cancer cells, enabling them to grow rapidly and unchecked. This is why many cancer cells have been found to have a higher rate of glucose metabolism compared to normal cells. Additionally, insulin resistance can lead to an increase in the production of reactive oxygen species, or ROS. These are chemically reactive molecules that contain oxygen and are a natural byproduct of the normal metabolism of oxygen. However, when produced in excess, ROS can cause significant damage to cell structures. This is known as oxidative stress. Oxidative stress can lead to DNA damage and mutations, which can contribute to the initiation and progression of cancer. Furthermore, insulin resistance can disrupt normal lipid metabolism. This may result in an increased synthesis of fatty acids, cholesterol and triglycerides which have been linked to cancer progression. Some studies suggest that altered lipid metabolism can promote cancer cell growth and invasion, further complicating the scenario. In summary, insulin resistance can trigger a series of metabolic changes from increased glucose uptake to enhanced production of reactive oxygen species and altered lipid metabolism. These changes can create an environment conducive to the growth and survival of cancer cells, increasing the risk of cancer development. This final mechanism completes our understanding of the complex link between insulin resistance and cancer. It's clear that addressing insulin resistance can be a crucial step, not only in managing metabolic disorders, but potentially in cancer prevention as well. As we conclude our exploration, let's summarize the key takeaways from today's video. We've delved deep into the world of insulin resistance, a metabolic disorder affecting millions worldwide. It's not just a standalone health issue, but a catalyst for a host of other conditions, including obesity and type 2 diabetes. Through this journey, we've discovered the intricate link between insulin resistance and cancer. The body's inability to respond effectively to insulin can set off a chain reaction, leading to elevated blood glucose levels, hyperinsulinemia, chronic inflammation, and hormonal imbalances. These factors work in conjunction, creating a fertile ground for cancer cell growth and proliferation. We've seen how hyperinsulinemia, a byproduct of insulin resistance, can stimulate cancer cell growth, primarily by activating the insulin-like growth factor one signaling pathway. 
this pathway plays a pivotal role in cell growth, proliferation and survival. We've also learned about the role of chronic low-grade inflammation, a common companion of insulin resistance. This inflammation can facilitate cancer growth and metastasis by promoting the formation of new blood vessels and the invasion of cancer cells into surrounding tissues. Furthermore, we've delved into how insulin resistance can lead to hormonal imbalances, such as increased levels of estrogen, which can stimulate the growth of hormone-sensitive cancer cells. Coupled with obesity, a known risk factor for several types of cancer, the stage is well set for cancer development. Lastly, we've explored how insulin resistance can alter cellular metabolism, promoting the growth and survival of cancer cells and increasing the risk of DNA damage and mutations. The connection between insulin resistance and cancer is complex, multifaceted and undeniably significant. Awareness and early detection are our most potent weapons in this battle. By understanding these connections, we can empower ourselves to take proactive steps towards better health. Thank you for joining us on this journey and we look forward to exploring more health topics with you in the future.